the presentation of this certificate today is really, really important to do some Babcock. And to explain why, I'd like to take you through a little journey. And it's a journey that starts with my own personal um, preference to do things in the right way and to do our business using the right um, codes of practice. Now, um, to do that, we need to bring together three key ingredients. The first one being the people. The, the second one needs to be our environment and then um, and creating the right environmental conditions. And the third one is that we need a framework around which to work and which to govern the, the CSR application. Um, what I, ISO 26000 brings to us is that, um, that framework. And so that's why I'm so excited today to be receiving that certificate for and on behalf of the company. We've always been a socially responsible organisation, but the important thing in the, in the future of the business was to actually define what that meant. ISO 26000 helps us clearly define what CSR is and importantly what it isn't. So the efforts then included a gap analysis and a considerable planning by some really talented people. Um, there was a stage one assessment that led to uh, a stage two assessment. The important thing is that included all aspects of the business from operations, HR, QHSE, legal, commercial, etc. So yeah, it's been quite a journey. Lloyd's Register have helped us all the way through this process. Um, in the very early days when we first started looking at the accreditation towards ISO 26000, they helped us in identifying our gaps they helped us in, our, in identifying our, um, our gap closure technology and then coached us and mentored us all the way through the process. LRQA is, uh, has been around for over 250 years. Our parent group is Lloyd Register. We operate over four main divisions, marine, energy, transportation and management systems. So for example, wherever there is a major nuclear plant being designed, being built, it'll be LR that would be asked to come along to provide advisory and guidance and consultancy services. The statement of verification is very important for an organisation. It is, as it says, a statement of verification. It defines what we've looked at during that assessment activity and clearly it's got the LRQA stamp on there which shows that Deuce and Babcock have been verified by a credible organisation. We found several things impressive, worthy of note. One of which is the uh, Deuce and Babcock Credo programme, which every employee uh, goes, goes through. Uh, the other uh, impressive element was the engagement of all employees and all staff, uh, from the, the CEO, managing director, all the way down through to the junior member of staff. So that was very important uh, and very impressive for us. We also uh, uh, identified community programmes which were worthy of note, such as, for example, the, the Renfrew Food Bank, which was, which was impressive. So a number of worthy of note activities across that broad spectrum of corporate social responsibility. Our next challenge is, is, is really just uh, further cementing our CSR programmes. But the important thing is making them sustainable. If you look at our community projects, they can't be one-off projects. Okay? If you look at the Trussell Food Bank that we've helped develop on behalf of the Trussell Food Bank, that's a sustainable, long-term project. We cannot ever be seen as doing community projects for photo opportunities. We need to be credible. But it also helps with the business. We're looking at other aspects of fuel cell and how that can develop in, into the, the community. The big challenge is supply chain. It's ensuring that our supply chain, that we support our supply chain, our suppliers and contractors in understanding CSR. Because essentially, they are our, our reputation rests on supply chain. So really the challenge is not just making sure that they're doing it, it's supporting them in fully understanding the requirements of CSR. ISO 26000 is part of that programme. ISO 26000 achievement epitomises Team Dusan. 
Uh, the team effort has been considerable. The hard work, the enthusiasm and the contribution from all aspects of the business has been uh, amazing. Uh, so yeah, absolute true team effort. Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR, um, is only um, able to be delivered by the people. We should call it our personal social responsibility charter because um, without the people, CSR is nothing. And um, our people have been excellent in delivering this programme for and on behalf of the company. So I'd like to say thank you to them, a personal thank you.